Hello, peons. President of Overkill Software here. I apologize for not responding at all recently in light of some quote-unquote controversies, but frankly, I was ignoring every last one of you. Now, I don't know where you entitled pricks get your kicks from, but I had no idea that saying we would never, ever incorporate microtransactions to the Payday 2, and then adding them in anyway, would seem as somehow dishonest. I'm here to set the record straight on this matter, so that I can continue throwing all of this new money into my hedge fund, and putting food on the table for my family. I mean, they have a serious addiction to Querless. Absolutely heartbreaking. But first, I'd like to tackle some major inconsistencies with your grievances in internet. For a start, these aren't so-called microtransactions. I mean, have you seen our DLC page recently? Add in the fact that you need to purchase the full game first, and then pay an extra few quid per drill, and it simply doesn't take a sleazy dishonest company like ourselves to realise that these things are simply transactions. Lots of them. Get your facts right, Taku. Secondly, this entire notion that our game is somehow now pay to win is frankly ludicrous. No, you see, you morons think far too small. The era of pay to win is surely over thanks to us. Yes, you heard us right. In fact, we've abolished it completely. You see, to actually use these stat boosting skins bought from transactions, there I fixed it for you, you also need to have the corresponding paid DLC brought and the weapon it applies to brought as well. Of course, you also need a purchase copy of the game to utilise all of this crap. So what you end up with is a brand new pay to, pay to, pay to, pay to win system. Suck on that, yay. Thirdly, it turns out that our accountancy team made a huge error in buying out Starbreeze Entertainment. A corporate move that frankly confused the world over, and even myself. I mean, have you played the Syndicate reboot? Jesus f***ing Christ, have you? <coughs> Sorry, I, I, I don't know what came over me. Anyway, it turns out that even the combined sales of our game, next-gen ports which frankly don't work, suck on that Xbox fans, and all of the DLC combined isn't actually enough to cover the cost of our massive acquisition error. So action, frankly, had to be taken. We realised this would be a polarising issue to our community, so we contacted the best in the business, Konami's PR department, to gain insight on how to deal with an army of sweaty fat Redditors, and their advice was frankly golden. Stick head in sand, and wait for people to drink so much Mountain Dew, their brain cells disappear. We combine this with statistics showing the consumption of the drink in the USA, and calculated that about a week will do it. So here we are, peons. That said, I hope that this very thorough and legitimate response will reinstate trust with you guys, the morons, and also hope that you support us in the future <laughs> by kickstarting our next game, Payday Free, where the game will feature a tax man who deletes part of your wage packet every month.